So this is juicy. Go ahead. Never have I did a pop up. We can trespass. So we trespass, and I know I'm, I cheated on somebody before. No, you did not. It was good back. And I mind you, I had on Guy B shirt in Guy A room. We're about to go to Wingstop because the place that we were going to go is closed. So we were literally sitting here like, what's good? What's smackable like? And we were like, we're gonna get some wings. Girl, I'm blaming you. She got her what is up my Chaz KB viewers so I am back with another video with my roomie this is hey like a roomie tag slash mukbang she already started y'all so this yeah. is hungry <laughs> so I'm about to tell y'all what I got I got well you can tell them since you already got the food out so we got wing stop obviously you know we have to get some wings from the best wing place ever y'all not ready for all this magic oh my gosh don't just look that look good, good. <laughs> That's look good. Can smell it. You can you you can smell it throughout the entire house. I, I don't promise know what you. Flavor. What was this honey? What, what did she make me get? It was some with barbecue, I think. So I got barbecue and even this other thing. Oh my god! And it's like something honey glaze. Yeah, honey glaze or something like that. Yeah. So. so good. Tell me what you got, my sister. Okay. I got this is Hawaiian, and this is the barbecue one. So this is about to be good. Let's do a thumbnail. Okay, that should be good. So we about to start. My yeah. good here has some tea that she wants to spill. And then we're going to do Never Have I Ever. Yeah, let's talk about this. I have this one friend. And she just so, she doesn't understand friendship. So I just have to teach her every single day how to be a good friend. Porta Hemplo. For example, there's these girls that I didn't really like and she's buddy buddy with them. She's best friends with them. She talks to them on a daily basis and sees no problem with them. None. Like, I'm sorry. That's not no friend to me. Like, no. uh-uh. And Chad's seen it. Chad's seen it with her two eyes and like something happened like two weeks ago and she couldn't come to my apartment. I locked her ass out because it's just like, you're not going to disrespect me and come to my home where I can. So like, what are y'all, what are y'all opinions on like friends? Yeah. Like, I feel like if I have like an enemy, like my best friend, mm -hmm. I'm not saying y'all got to be at beef with each other and it's on site, but yeah. I don't think I would be comfortable really with them like hanging out, hanging out, especially Basically. after the fact. Like, well, okay, this is a, a good question. Were they friends before y'all fell out or after? Before. See, that's probably why. She was my friend first. But the way she did me so dirty that anybody with common sense would step back and be like, if she could do scams like this, she could do anybody like this. She did me so wrong mm. that she would want to not be her friend no more out of loyalty. Right. Out of loyalty. It's not no petty. You don't know how to step like your foot down and tell the girl you don't want to be friends with her no more. Like I can't force you not to be friends with her, but it's just a loyalty thing. I could see both sides, but I she really both sides. I, I could she see. Her. I could see your side and I could see her side, but. I just feel like it's certain boundaries like mm -hmm. if she's gonna be still cool with her she has to respect you in your position with that girl you want to know the worst part she would tell my business to them and tell like their business to me you can't be friends with her you can't, you can't. she's not a good friend she's not and she doesn't see anything wrong and that's why i feel like she's a child i gotta teach her mm. How, like i've had plenty of good friends in my life so it, i feel like i have to teach her and i've never had problems like this before in my lifetime and i've been alive for like 20 years right <laughs> 20 years i've been on this for 20 years so i know i've never had problems like this so i don't know what to do like she's she's a sweet girl like she despite her flaws she's an actual sweet girl see i don't know what to do I would what do you think? Like, what I like? think okay first y'all comment in the comment section what you think she should do mm -hmm. and then my my thoughts on it is from her point of view she was friends with her before mm -hmm. so i can see like why she don't want to cut her off but she got me, she got me effed up and she really thought that's how she gonna play because i like to hate ktsc i'm gonna keep the same energy <laughs> <laughs> bro she kills me with this ktsc don't even give it your energy sis you're above this this is this is what did beneath she say me. this is this is this is beneath you you're above this now this is so i was gonna say like what we about to play never have i ever well i'll do be like Never have I ever, and if you did it, say I did it, and just tell your story on how oh. I have it. So, I got, a, I got a little list. I got a little list. Go ahead. Tell me. Okay. Never have I ever snuck at the house. I have. What about you, sis? I have a lot. <laughs> a lot. My parents are really strict. Well, my mom is really strict. Let me 
my dad. Like, <laughs> I never get caught in my life. Okay, so let me tell y'all. How? I have, but it wasn't like nothing major. Yeah. Never have I ever cheated on someone. What do you <laughs> What do you mean by cheat though? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know people have different What's your definition? If you with somebody, like in a relationship. Oh, in a relationship? Or if you're with somebody talking and y'all made it seem like y'all was only talking to each other. Okay, so now, now you, you said like talking. So you mean like, what do you, what do you consider cheating? Because I like, feel like if I'm talking to somebody, like talking is talking. If I'm talking to somebody, but we established that we're only talking to each other and you're mm -hmm. still talking to other people. Okay. Like a, that's kind of like a form of cheating. Almost like if we establish we're only focusing okay. on each other. Or if you're in a relationship. Okay, never have I ever cheated in a relationship. Never have I ever. Never have I ever. Ever? Ever. In a relationship. So if we're talking about talking, <laughs> I don't see, like, I, I'm sorry, but if we're talking, I don't see that as anything, like, big, like, leave, because it's just like, if you wanted me, you would make it official. So I'm cheating, I don't, have I entertained other people for, like, <laughs> players in a game with somebody get injured? Yes. To have somebody come in. Okay. That was when I was young. I cheated on somebody before. No, you did not. It was good back. Never have I ever used a man. I most definitely have. Some guys always want one thing, so why don't you use them? Why don't you use them to get what you need? Like, why does it always have to be about what he needs, you know? If you're with someone, or if you're talking to somebody, and they have a set agenda, and you have a set agenda, you can only use someone if it's out of like, like a good guy or like a good girl mm -hmm. who genuinely cares about you. And you just use them. But like if it's somebody who's like I don't like them back to that count. I don't know, because then I would say I'll use somebody. Yeah. It but depends. You said you said a good I had a good guy like me, but I just never had feelings for him and he wouldn't leave me alone. So I was like, well, I might as well make something shake while he's here. <laughs> So like, it depends. Like, so, okay, so when you mean make some shake, like, did you have him, like, buy you stuff or, like, what? He willingly wanted to. I never asked, like, never asked for nothing. I don't know, then. Do y'all consider that using? I don't know. He, Ooh. Well, this is juicy. Go ahead. Never have ever did a pop-up. A pop-up? Mm-hmm. Like, you popped up on a guy. For me, no, but for my friends. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Save! Never have I ever. Never have I ever. Okay, I have another one. Never have I ever got caught up. Never have I ever. Really? Never because if I really like somebody, this is gonna be me and that somebody. I have. You have? Oh yes, my God. Sis. How did it end? Let me tell you how I started. So no names. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say guy A mm -hmm. and then guy B. Mm -hmm. I was talking to guy A first. Right. At my school. Mm -hmm. He was on a football team. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it just wasn't going nowhere. Like, we just, it was, I liked that guy A the most between guy A and guy B. But, like, mm -hmm. it just seemed like it wasn't going nowhere. Plus, he was still in love with his ex, which no. I found out, which mm -hmm. I soon found out. Mm -hmm. So, we went on some type of break. And over break, he posted his ex girlfriend mm -hmm. on his Instagram account. So, that's when I met guy B. Later on, I met Guy B and I found out he was also on the football team. Mind you, I asked Guy B, I said, do you know Guy A, he's on the football team? He made it seem like, nah, I mean, I know of him, but he's not like somebody I actually hang out with. No. I was like, okay, cool. So me and Guy A, I mean, me and Guy B, we never really had nothing more than just me going over and we just hanging out. Never did nothing, none of that. We just hung out, just good vibes. So I didn't really take him serious. You like, you know, all girls got that safe haven type, safe haven type of boy. Where y'all don't really go out with each other. Y'all really, y'all just flirt, but that's it. A good vibe. Like if you're down and out, what you doing? Can I come over? Let's hang out. You're chilling. So I started talking back to guy A later on. But I still was kind of dealing with guy B. Mind you, they stayed in the same dorm. On the same floor. So I kind of snuck over to guy A room and I'm in his bed chilling. Da -da 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 -da. Mind you, I had on guy B shirt in guy A room. So, <laughs> so guy B comes over to guy A room because guy A always had people always knocking on his door because he had a car. And guy A opened the door and he seen me. He was like, 
And then he looked at guy B and was like, um, he looked at guy A and was like, let me talk to you. But it was out there for like 10 minutes just straight talking. Bro, I was so embarrassed. I called my best friend because my best friend was in her boyfriend. I was like, best friend, I think they out there talking about me. Can you please come around the corner and listen to what they say? Yeah. Da, 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 come get me. I'm ready to go. I was so freaking embarrassed. Oh, my gosh. So finally, guy A comes back in and he just looks at me and laughs and gets in the bed. So I was like, who was it? He was like, I know that's right. Was, you don't know nothing. We are, what is it? Innocence and guilty. Period. He was like, nobody. What's the previous thing I ever done in this lifetime? Hmm. I don't know. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? I went skinny dipping. Oh, okay. You're talking crazy like that. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm thinking crazy like a whole never made. Breaking into my house crazy. But I did that. <laughs> I was trying to figure out the type of crazy. It was here at the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but it's, look, it's not what it was. Not what y'all think. Like <laughs> at least <laughs> by ex alliances, you know. You got to break into somebody's apartment who who lives in this building because we suspected some. Well, yeah, we all suspected some unusual activities. Like female. I know all the spots that are unlocked. So I said, y'all, let's just. Come on, like I know how to get in this building mm -hmm. without a fog or without a key. We can trespass. So we trespass and I know we all know there's certain times like when they leave their door unlocked and they do it like <laughs> During the evening, so I was like, let's just go, let's just do it. There's she wouldn't door. do it, y'all, but she the mastermind behind it all. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's just do it. We just gonna pop in like once we're gonna be. I said, but no, I told them if this is what y'all really want to do, like, let's just let's not spur the palm, it doesn't need to be spurred. Okay, so they broke in and then we found well, you know, there was nothing, there was some suspicious stuff, mm -hmm. but not suspicious enough to get mad. I ain't like it's so out of my element like that that whole thing was so out of my element but i really enjoyed going on an adventure like the risk we were taking i love it like the rush that it was giving me i was so excited she was a whole trespasser y'all um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no but i'm never breaking to a guy's house like if i suspect anything i'm not wasting my time yeah i was about to say it's never to the point where i would need to pop if i gotta if i feel like i gotta pop up on my own Cheers. that ain't my name Cheers to that. Cheers, clink, clink. No, he's not. He's not. I just, you know, like, but that was freshman year, though. Well, I was going to say, freshman year was a different time, yeah. though. Like, freshman year, we were still growing. Like, at this point, I'm too old for this stuff. Yeah. Like, even my freshman year, I wasn't popping up on nobody, but I would do it with my friends. But yeah. it's just like, we're too old for the games now. Like, what do you think about having insecure friends? An uh, insecure woman in general. Or an insecure person in general yeah. is a hazard to your life. Period. Because every time you win, they will hate. Oh, can we cheers to that? Cheers to that. Clink. Clink, 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 clink. Like, anytime you will win, they'll hate. Anytime they see you progressing, they'll hate. Anytime they see you lose, they will love it. They and will it, love it. And the crazy part is love about it. losing, they won't gloat in your face like, oh, da, 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 that's what you get. It'd be like, well, it's okay. You tried your best. You can stop now. Mm -hmm. They'll make you feel comfortable with your failure. Being little. Yeah, being because they want you to be on their side. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be low with them. You know, I hate saying stuff to other people when I haven't addressed their problem with the person yet. Mm hmm You know, I like to. I have a little mini channel or whatever. You do? Mm -hmm. See? This is what this is all about. Because I damn sure didn't know my roommate had a YouTube channel. Well, I told you now. I mentioned it to you. When I was like, you got a YouTube channel? You were just like, you got a YouTube channel? I was like, yeah, follow me. And he's like, okay, text me your name. And then like two days, like, you was like, we need to record something together. I was like, okay, yeah, let's okay. do that. It probably is. Well, anyway, now you know. But that's besides the point. No, okay, I know because Jarnell had told me she had one and you had one. I'm going to say, oh, I have one. Yeah, that's probably what Jarnell used to. Mm-hmm. What was I saying? So, you know, I, I just like doing that drug just because I like being on camera and like doing stuff. Period. So she's talking about, she's like, one day she came to me like, oh yeah, I didn't want a YouTube channel. I was like, yeah, go for it. She's like, what do you think I should do? I don't know if you really wanted a YouTube channel, you would know. She said that? Mm -hmm. mm. Like, like, why is it like, I'm like, I don't want anybody to stop their hustle because of me, but why is it when I want to do something, people want to come out the woodwork wanting to do the same thing? Like riding your coattail almost. Mm -hmm. Like. If it's from a genuine place, I would say support her. But if you feel like she's only doing it because you're doing it, now you have to think, 
Sometimes you do have friends that you inspire. This is a better example. So this company sent me free hair to do a review. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm feeling myself 20 inches of hair. Like, what's the up, friend? Oh yeah, guess what happened? They sent me free hair. Like, yes, cheers to that. She's talking about something like a few days ago, she gonna mention, oh, I DM'd a bunch of hair companies asking them for free hair and telling them I would do reviews on them. Mm, I heard it. That's it, huh? I would say this. As long as you keep this person or girl in your life, I think it's time you cut her off. Today. Because you know how she is and you know how she operates. So the only person that's keeping the negative energy around her is you at this point. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is cut her loose, sis. She means no good. Like, don't get me wrong. Friendship, you're going to have certain situations. Mm -hmm. Like my friendship, my best friends, we're not perfect. We have arguments all the time. Yeah. But we never have competition. No, that's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. No friendship, nothing. Honestly, nothing in life should be a competition. You cannot yeah. compete with nobody else because nobody else is in your shoes but you. Nothing. You can't beat somebody to your destination. That's your destination. Yeah, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like, okay. Hold free. Make it make sense. <laughs> Today. So, but this will be the closing of our, my, our, yes. Rumi mukbang muk, mukbang do that and also comment your opinions yes your opinions on everything and also make sure to check out my lash website if you like the lashes she's actually one of my customers she wore my lashes before yes, and she said she loved them so check it out she said every day check them out and yeah I'll see you later my chest kb viewers